When the man who dies, leaving behind him millions of available wealth, will pass away unwept, unhonored, and unsung. 91 years after his death, industrial giant Andrew Carnegie's praises are still being sung. For him, philanthropy was a religion. There's even a gospel according to Carnegie. Warren Buffett's a believer. And I give away the surplus. And so is Bill Gates. Together, they're spreading the message that the richest people should give most of their money away while they're still alive. AOL co-founder Steve Case and Wall Street tycoon Ted Forsman are two of the latest converts to sign the giving pledge. Tell me first and foremost, why did you all decide to sign this pledge? Me? Yeah. Um, because <laughs> Mike Bloomberg asked me to. And I said, um, you know, I already do this. So, uh, you know, I give away lots of what I have. And he convinced me that adding your name to this would be helpful. Maybe other people would do it as well. Was it an easy decision or did you labor over it a bit? It was, it was uh, relatively easy because of a, a sense that when you have the opportunity to have great resources, there's a responsibility to use them in a constructive uh, way. Steve Case and his wife, Jean, established the Case Foundation in 1997. Together, they've supported efforts like a Twitter campaign to stop the spread of malaria and an online giving challenge, which raised more than $2 million last year for 8,000 charities. Inner city children. Around. Ted Forsman co-founded the Children's Scholarship Fund, which has given nearly half a billion dollars in tuition money to more than 100,000 needy children. The charity has changed lives, but the boys he adopted changed his. My two kids were street orphans in South Africa that I met through Nelson Mandela. <laughs> Anything where children have a bad deal is what gets me. Bloomberg, Hilton, Turner, the giving pledge is the ultimate rich list that's enriching the lives of millions. And their philanthropy comes at a critical time for charities in this country. The recession has taken its toll on donations. Last year, Americans gave $303 billion, but that was down nearly 4 percent from 2008. To the extent you can help out, if you don't, you're a jerk. I don't think it's I don't think it's great. I don't think what Steve and I are doing is great at all. I think if you don't do it, you're a jerk. We have big problems in this world and we have to kind of join together to try to solve them. Uh, and this is one way to do it. Andrew Carnegie would agree. This then is to be the duty of the man of wealth. 